All right, we got some pretty big news out of the college football world late Sunday night as quarterback Quinn Ewers, who entered the transfer portal a couple weeks ago, officially announced that he's going to be committing to Texas. He's staying home. He's staying local. He's going to be a Longhorn in 2022. So we're going to be talking about his decision today, what this means for Texas. But before we get to today's video, if you guys could hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications if you're brand new to the channel. About 85% of viewers aren't subscribed to my channel. So if you're watching this video, you like college football content, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. It really helps the algorithm. It helps share with more college football fans. It only takes a second to do and seriously every like really helps share with more college football fans i greatly appreciate it if you guys could give this video a thumbs up so quinn ewers a couple weeks ago entered the transfer portal after just one season at ohio state and i think everyone pretty much assumed he'd be entering the transfer portal a lot of great quarterback talent there at ohio state no room for him, so he transfers out and enters the transfer portal. Now, I talked about this in my video when he entered the transfer portal, but I don't think he ever was going to play at Ohio State. I think he committed there strictly to secure the bag and then move on. Uh, I believe he made $1.5 million because of the NIL deals that he was able to get, so props to him. I mean, if you're able to get a million dollars to essentially do nothing, by all means, secure the bag. So he finessed the system. He did a fantastic job. Now, I might be wrong on this, but I believe when he classified early in the state of Texas where he went to high school, I don't think they were allowing NIL deals at the time when he committed to Ohio State a couple years ago. Now, obviously, they're able to, and he ends up at Texas, which I think from you know the very beginning, I think that was his plan all along. I think he wanted to go to Texas. I think that was number one on his list. But again, he saw an opportunity to make one and a half million dollars at Ohio State, and he thought, let me take advantage of that. I'll get some money there instead of being in high school. And now he ends up at Texas. So essentially, he's where he would have ended up anyway, and the only difference is he is $1.5 million richer. So Quinn Ewers, I mean, this is a journey that goes back many, many, many years. Back in July of 2016, he landed his first offer from North Texas the summer before his seventh grade season. So this has been a guy that's been on the map for many, many, many years. In June of 2018, he received an offer from Ohio State the summer before his freshman season. Fast forward then to February of 2019, Quinn Ewers took his first unofficial visit to Texas as a recruit. Quinn Ewers grew up a Texas Longhorns fan, and many people expected this was going to be the place that he'd end up. Now, he wasn't offered by Texas yet at the time, but he was invited by Tom Herman's staff to tour the Texas facilities for the first time. Then in September of 2019, Texas extended an offer to Ewers, making him the Longhorns' top target for the 2022 class. Then fast forward to October of 2019, as Ewers is starting to become a more household name, he was offered by Alabama. Then if you go to August of 2020, Ewers made his commitment to Tom Herman and Texas before Tom Herman, you know, got fired. Then fast forward a couple months to October of 2020, Ewers decommits from Texas, and he ends up at Ohio State just one month later. So then July 1st rolls around of 2021, and the NCAA announced that collegiate athletes can now profit off of their name, image, and likeness. And just one month later, Ewers announced that he's going to be skipping his senior year of high school, and he's going to be enrolling at Ohio State a year early to take advantage of all the NIL opportunities that he could get. And as you guys know, he signed a three-year, $1.4 million deal with GT Sports Marketing, making him the highest paid collegiate athlete on earth. Not to mention all the other deals that he signed, but we know for one thing, he got this deal for nearly $1.5 million. The season goes on, Quinn Ewers only sees two snaps, and at the end of the year, he decides to enter the transfer portal. Now, when you enter the transfer portal, some of the teams that were mentioned were Texas, Texas Tech, Texas A&M. He did take a visit to Texas Tech last week, but this weekend, he took a visit to Texas. A lot of people assumed he'd end up at Texas, and again, today, he announces that that's where he's going to be transferring to, and he'll likely be the quarterback for the Longhorns moving forward. So, what does this mean for Texas? I mean, they have some pretty decent quarterbacks already on the roster. They got Casey Thompson, who started the majority of their games this season, Hudson Card, who was a really highly touted recruit coming out of high school, so they got some really good quarterbacks on that roster. I expect one of these two to likely transfer probably in the coming weeks because it's tough to see Texas having these three really good quarterbacks on their roster. So will Hudson Card transfer? Will Casey Thompson transfer? 
I'm not exactly certain. If I were to guess, I would think Hudson Card might be the guy that wants to head on out. He might want to look for an opportunity somewhere else. But again, a lot can happen. There could be a quarterback battle. But I expect Quinn Ewers to be the starting quarterback for Texas in 2022. Now, this is an absolutely massive get for head coach Steve Sarkeesian. After his first season at Texas, the Longhorns went 5-7. and seven. The season started out with a lot of promise, but they just hit a really, really bad stretch during the middle of the season. I think they lost five games in a row, maybe it was six games in a row. A really forgettable 2021 season, but a lot to build off of. They still have a lot of great talent, a lot of great recruits coming in. And now you add a guy like Quinn Ewers. This is a guy where I know a lot of recruits that have yet to commit. They might want to go to Texas now with the opportunity to play alongside Quinn Ewers. So I expect Texas in the coming weeks to get some decent transfers, to get some decent recruits. I think by adding Quinn Ewers, this is going to make Texas a much better destination than it was just 24 hours ago. So Quinn Ewers, he stays home. He goes to Texas. Again, the school I pretty much think he was going to end up all along. But again, you can't fault the guy for going to Ohio State, making over a million dollars, and now going to Texas. I'm sure with the Longhorns, he's going to get a a lot of different deals and he'll be making a lot more money. I wouldn't be shocked if he's making a couple more million dollars over the next couple of years. But yeah, hats off to him for doing that. Again, can't can't fault a guy for getting $1.5 million. But what are you guys' thoughts on Quinn Ewers going to the Texas Longhorns? What do you think is going to happen with that quarterback room? And do you think this is the kind of recruit that's really going to help turn things around at Texas? I know we've been saying for years, Texas isn't back. But maybe Quinn Ewers is the right guy to help get Texas right back on track. I think it's a huge move for them. I think, like I said, they're going to get a lot of great recruits. They're going to get some solid transfers because a lot of guys are going to want to play alongside Quinn Ewers. So it's really an exciting time in Texas. So whatever your thoughts are on the entire situation, let me know in the comment section down below. Let me know if you think he's going to be the starting quarterback in 2022. Let me know if you think the other quarterbacks are going to stay. And let me know where you think Casey Thompson or Hudson Card might transfer to. Where do you think they make a good fit at? If you guys haven't done so yet, now is the perfect time to smash that subscribe button, turn on those notifications. If you love college football, this is definitely the place for you. And also, if you can take just one second, one second out of your day, give this video a thumbs up. It seriously really does help share the video with more college football fans. It takes a second to do, and plus it's a lot of fun. I mean, personally, I love smashing the like button. It's a fun time, I guarantee it, and uh, I'd really appreciate it. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in my next video.